guys, it's Jed Skeptic Media again. I thought I'd um, make a vlog tonight. It is quarter past 1 a.m. on a Friday night. I'm pretty tired. I've been working today. Um, it's the only day I work. I study the rest of my days, but I just work a day to make extra money. It was, um, it was a job. I've been there for years. But since I started studying, I've, I've started going less and less to my working day job. And now I'm, I'm studying uh, computer art and design and media. And funnily enough, I've been studying copyright. And Patricia Steer, what did I tell you? Denny Mess with the Jed Skeptic Media. I'm no your average idiot that you come across on YouTube. Anyway, as you all know guys, Patricia Steer hit me with a copyright strike, got my video taken down, and now it's back, because I won the dispute. But I came back with only a few views. All my views have been taken away, so I don't understand that. Um, but I didn't care. I got my video back. Um, it's the principle, is the point. You can't just, she's the one that's abusing copyright. But he hit me with copyright. She's abusing the copyright rules. Um, it's like a dictatorship. They try and stop you if you're speaking out. And it's within your right to speak out, people. I've I've studied it. I've actually got the book here. And I had to do like a, a report. And they ask you questions. And you have to do your research. And then answer them, obviously. Um. One of the questions was list nine acts that are permitted with copyrighted material under the heading of fair dealing. Fair dealing, guys. And the nine acts are private and research purposes, performance, copy or lending for educational purposes, criticism and news reporting, incidental inclusion, Copies and lending by librarians, format shifting or backup of a work you own for personal use, caricature, parody or pastiche, acts for the purposes of royal commissions, statutory inquiries, judicial proceedings and parliamentary purposes, recording of broadcasts for the purposes of listening to or viewing at a more convenient time. This is known as time shifting and producing a backup copy for personal use of a computer program. So guys, I was well within my rights to appeal that video. Um, I wasn't making money on it guys, I showed you my analytics. I don't I don't make money out of what I do. I do it as a hobby, I do it as a moral thing as well. Like, the way I see it, these people are bad. And if I'm fighting them, I feel good. So it gives me, like, it makes me feel good. Um, jousting with these jokers. But Patricia Steer, what a cheek. What a cheek. She's now, well, she's probably finished. She sits and reads them for a couple of hours. But she's reading 1984, George Orwell. And that's... Um, that's a copyright, that's a copyright strike. I hope YouTube have some kind of automated machine that can read this or people need to start flagging it or something. I don't know if you can flag someone else's video for copyright against someone else's copyright instead of your own. But what a cheek. She's got advertisement all the way through it. The difference is she's just reading the book for educational purposes, but she's not. She's got adverts to it. So she's... If she makes three videos of 1984 breaks a book into three parts and YouTube discover that she's plagiarizing, those she'll get hit with three copyright bounces on the trot and her channel will get taken down. Simple. So guys, how do we make YouTube aware of what she's doing? Is there something you can hit? Why don't you find this one out, guys? So, yes! 1-0 to Jed Skeptic Media against the Potato Crew. Um, 
I was also watching Nathan Oakley's latest Hangout. Usual crap, and the quality of the Hangout. What kind of camera were they? What 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 quality did they upload that uh, video at? The lowest quality possible, and he wants people to sit through and listen to that rubbish that they're talking. And here's another thing, guys. If you watch Nathan Oakley's last Hangout, you'll notice that Antonio is hung one of his paintings on that Gleason's map, so it covers, like, I think it says the new, uh, new map of the world, new map of the world, or new Gleason's map of the world, or something like that, and he's put the picture right in the middle, so all you've got left is new world, and the picture covers the rest, and then they go on to talk about new age, and how it's good, and how you're living in the old age, and by being aware of the new age, you're now coming into the new age, and all this crap. His philosophy is just, he, he overcomplicates stuff to the point where it becomes worthless. It becomes worthless. So, have a look at that, guys. And they're going downhill, and you can, you can look at their videos too. About seven or eight adverts. You see the wee yellow nicks in the in the video. That's every time there's an ad that. Um, so this is just pure. This is this is all about the monetization. If it, if you thought it wasn't before, now you know with all these adverts. Unbelievable, guys! Unbelievable. I do this for nothing. I've I pay for an Adobe, Adobe Cloud. Um, out my own money, and I pay for, and I've paid for um. Final Cut for the Apple, which isn't cheap. And I make all my videos on these editing programs and I don't ask for one bolt, one bolt, because I do it for, I do it for my own, I do it for myself. That's it. And if you see an advert on my videos, guys, it's no me getting the money for it. It's because if I wanted to use a cool sort of track to go with my video and it's someone else's song, well, the record label get the money from the adverts. I don't see a bolt of it. Um, but it's better just getting a wee, a wee advert that pops up for a couple of seconds. You just hit the, the close, the close. it doesn't even come up. Um, so this is all about money, guys. It's pathetic. It's pathetic. Um, I had to tell JLB, John LeBon, I had to tell him in my comment section to stop emailing me stuff. I'm sick of John LeBon. Commenting on my videos saying I'm the most uh, logical guy out there and talking the most sense. And then it's like he uses flattery to then attack my commenters and my subs. Um, but he wouldn't do it on Nathan Oakley's channel. And Nathan Oakley was slagging my son the other night there. My son's seven year old. And Nathan Oakley was slagging my son. Because I've got a video of my son on my channel. And Nathan Oakley was slagging a seven year old kid. How pathetic is that? And John LeBon wants me to... John LeBon saying, oh, he's all right. Oh, oh, he's all right. He's all right. He's all right. Nobody's slagging your kids. And if you want to be on that side of the fence, you can be, if you can't see that GLB, well, you're just as daft as them. You're just as compliant as them. You're just, you're just them. You're another potato. You're inside opposition, by the looks of it, to be honest. And you send emails to people with videos that are private, like we're special. Is this to make us feel special or something? Because when I go to Nathan Oakley's channel, he's liked that video and it's on his liked playlist. So anyone can watch them. He, he, JLB makes videos of a poll. I watched his last video and I had to turn it off, JLB. Because you were debating over a poll and it was like men and women and what they thought was important. Um, it had like men with the economy and science and stuff like that and the money and the federal bank and it had women. Number one was abortion. And they had this big debate about how women chose abortion. And it's, do you actually believe these polls, JLB? Do you believe these polls? And if you believe these polls, do you, do you create a whole debate over them? Because to me, that's a waste of fucking time. That's just a waste of time. So as much as your flattery, your support, it's, if you kind of see what this potato squad, Nathan and Antonio, really are, you're just as much an idiot as, as they are, to be honest. 
And I don't like the way you were antagonising the people in my comments. I don't mind people debating, but you were just being just downright obnoxious and calling them retards and stuff like that. And it's it's just not acceptable, JLB. Get yourself together. Or just stay off my comments. It's up to you, mate. I don't care what your deal is. Right, so... Another person I'd like to address is my fellow Scotsman, Dell, beyond the imaginary curve. Um, he made a video, a response video, uh, and I'll just I'll just skip to the bits that are relevant because he, he does kind of go off on one. And it's funny because he says, um, no, he, he doesn't get emotional and to forget emotions, but at the same time he's getting right worked up and. You can hear it in his voice, he's getting emotional. Um, I'll go to 122 first. By ex oh. right here. What, what flat earth are you talking about? Because people have got this um, problem where they just lump flat earth as one thing. So, um, I'm no part of anybody's group. Flat earth, flat earth, flat earth. You all say it's not a ball, so you're in that camp where you deny it's a ball and you say it's flat. Flat Earth, flat Earth. Maybe there's different versions of flat Earth, like there's the infinite plane, there's the the ring of the the ice wall that goes round. Um, but at the end of the day, you just believe in a flat Earth. So flat Earth, flat Earth, mate. And your sky stuff, there's no explanation for the sun, the solar eclipse, the lunar eclipse. It's nothing to do with measurable curvature. Well, in a way, you're right. But in a way, you're wrong as well. Because if I've seen a shadow of myself, or shadow of anything, a shadow of a three-dimensional object cast onto a wall, I would have a rough idea of what it was. I wouldn't see the details, obviously, because it's a shadow. And the angle, it might be distorted as well because of the... But at the end of the day, there's a shadow of something. It's something three-dimensional. Like, flat objects don't cast shadows on themselves. It has to be three-dimensional to some degree. So, you can sort of make a judgment on that. It might not be 100% correct, but it gives you an idea of what it could be. So if, if you can get measurable curvature by explaining what happens with the sun and the moon for your dues, but, you know, we live on Earth, not in the sky. But that's another thing as well. If you were on a rocket looking down at Earth, and, and you you seen the launch pads you were just launching off. There's you looking out that window, you'd have a good idea of what you were in because of the speed you were traveling, what you've just left. It's that's it's always the excuse that looking up at the sky or observing other things apart from the land, the the terraforma, uh, this doesn't seem to count. Like the sun, the moon, the stars. The sky, the clouds, everything doesn't seem to matter when it comes to the argument, but it does. It's all part of our reality, where we live. So if anybody could, can explain the logic of these sky observations and then show us measurable curvature based on the sky observations, I'm willing to listen. So, no model, there's nothing. Right, I know there's name, there's this name model. And that's the problem within flat earth, you know, the adoption of models. You know, and it's fine, people can play with hypothetics, but unless it can be proven, it's just a waste of fucking time, as we're going to get to in a minute. Uh, Let's see. Kind of drags it a wee bit. Experiments. What do you, what, what's your solution then, Jed? Huh? Do we just continue... Uh, we letting the logic, uh, you know, emotions fucking run the show, huh? 
people's fucking derpy emotions running the fucking fucking hell man <laughs> emotions running the show derpy oh my god I remember my son he's only seven but he said derpy and I don't even know what it means I still don't even know what derpy means to be honest with you so I don't know if that's a, that's a that's a word that you've picked up with your kids and it's hip and trendy, but um, you you are getting emotional here, mate. So show sure. so it's just a matter of getting popular, huh? and and then whoever's the most popular, it's their fucking derpy emotions that's fucking dictating yes. what's happening. You no, know, the reason I keep saying that is because it's an objective language, right? That we can all use, that nobody can tell lies with. Well, if you're saying. Flat could be my flat could be different from your flat. That's not a common language. Um, you see, it based everything on tested, tested, measured, and observed. And you're right. And like I said in my last video, um, to know what something truly is, the true shape or form or nature of something, you've got to be able to see it, measure it, weigh it, look at it. But like I said before, like there's some things you just can't measure. There's just some things we've not got the capacity to measure. Like the ancients back in the day, they wouldn't have known that there's air everywhere. They can't see it. They wouldn't have the. They, they never had the capacity to measure that we're actually breathing in air and exhaling CO two. They never had that capacity. It doesn't mean it never existed. It just they never had that capacity. Right? So, you know, you're saying it as if it's a negative, which makes me very, very suspicious of you. You know, you're either at... Actually measure and see it. Exactly. But not everything is within our capacity like to what? measure and see. Like what? There's no one... What do you mean? There's no one with capacity to measure, test and see. What are you talking about? Well, just like I said there, uh, Del, I used to be like you as well. But... Well, I never used to be like you, but when it came to the flat earth, I used to think on those terms like logic and things like that. And that's why I don't debate anymore because it's a it's a faith based system, globe and flat. So there's you you can argue it all day long. Um, and there is some things you just can't measure, mate. There is, and you need to be humble enough to admit that. Like, how many blades of grass are on this planet? Tell me. How much water is in the ocean? Tell me. Well, we don't know. Can there's water up? Can there, there's the, the water cycle? It's it's evaporating. It's going into the clouds. It's raining. It's again. We know it's there. We know the seas there. We know the water's there. We know the clouds are there. But we don't know how much water's there. We can't measure it. It's just impossible for us to do it. Same with the grass. We know it exists. We can pick it up. We can look at. It, we can observe it. We can look at each blade. But we. We can't measure every blade of grass. We can't. We can't tell you every blade of grass on on the planet because it's it's not within our capacity. Just like I was saying before with the ancients, like it just wasn't in their capacity to know like certain things. And um, and I know what you mean. I know uh, like with physics and you need to see, but that's why the flat Earth is it's just faith based. It is. It's just faith based, and it's dangerous to think like that about everything. Because, like you said, you play your guitar and and there's abstraction. I'm an artist as well. Um, I do all different kinds of art. I, I paint, I, I draw, I, I do graphic art, I, I do animation, I do videos, I do... I try everything. I try anything. Um, I'm a creative person. And um, you have to use some abstraction, some imagination, some fantasy. Sometimes you have to ponder and wonder. If everything was based on logic, fact, da, 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 you're just a machine. You're just a machine. So this is what I'm trying to say to you, Del. I'm no getting on to you. I'm just saying that I was there, I was in your, and, and it sounds like you've got this tested, measured, and observed thing, and you just keep saying it, keep saying it. But uh, it's like it's like commun communism in a way. It's like can they stop people going to the church, and it's like they stop people having a belief or a faith or being allowed to dream. We're allowed to dream. We're allowed to imagine. We're allowed to wonder. It's beautiful. Um, everything isn't set in logic. 
That's the thing. This is what I'm trying to say to you, man. Uh, I didn't know how else to elaborate on it. But it was quite funny what Laurie was saying and and uh, it would be some sight. But anyway, guys, that was just a few things I wanted to get off my chest. Um, I hope you just have a great weekend. I'm glad I got my video back. Yes! Get it up, you steering the potato mechanics. Um, they're going downhill. They are going downhill. Like I said, I don't know. I, I made a prediction. 2017, these jokers, they're going to be doing their own shows. Uh, like I said in my previous vlogs, they're going to be pulling all subjects out their ass. Um, Antonio's talking about painting. Um, Nathan's talking about his gadgets again, which he began with before Flat Earth. He started with audio cord or some crap like that. Um, Patricia reading books. Um, they were talking about video editing tutorials. God, there's millions of them. That's 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 what I can I, I can go to guys that are professionals that do it, and they'll show you a tutorial. There's professional people out there that will show you how to do skills. Professional artists that will show you how to paint. Not a, a paint the colours by Antonio. Anyway, guys. Hope you have a great weekend. Chill out, Del. I've got nothing against you, man. Um, and I know you, that video was against me, didn't it? Like you say, I pretended. And I, I was pretending than, than the Kenyan name. I was just saying beyond the curve, just to wind you up, because I know that you were kind of pandering around my name. So I was pandering around your name. And when I said uh, the Wii subscribers, I knew that would annoy you too, because um, Sometimes I set we we trap we trap just to see the reaction, and I can tell a lot for your reaction, man. I can tell a lot for your reaction, and I like how your kids sort of interrupted you as well. That I can totally relate to that. That happens to me all the time. That's why I'm doing this at twenty to two in the morning because my my kids constantly in and out, constantly in and out. Dad, 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 and he's oh he's more technologically advanced than I am. Uh, anyway, guys, hope you have a great weekend. Take care. Oh, by the way, check out Barbie McGill's new video. She's done a really good one on um, the ISS. Um, just check it out. Hey, Paul. Hey, Dad. <laughs> you just woke up. Sorry, did I wake you up? Yeah. You going for a pee? Yeah. Good lad. I right, check out Barbie McGill's uh, video. It's about the ISS and how, how you, you, you're not be, you shouldn't be able to see it. You shouldn't be able to see it. Anyway, she's on a great video. Check it out. Have a good weekend, guys. Scout day! Scout day!